Welcome to Exchange Survival and today we'll be reviewing and testing the X-Dragon 70 Watt solar panel. Today we'll be testing the alligator clips, the DC cable, we'll be charging a flashlight, a battery charger and we're also going to estimate how long it takes to charge a handphone and a power bank at the same time. Let's get started. This is the input. This is the fuse and these are the clips. Red is for positive, black is for negative. So we're going to plug the input into the solar charger. Make sure the solar charger is working with the green light on. We'll put in the input cable now. Right now, it's bright and sunny without any clouds, so the test will be good. We're going to test the voltmeter and the clips. So using the voltmeter, we'll test how much the solar panel is outputting. We're going to set it to voltage first. Red with red for positive, black with black for negative. And let's see, 22.7 volts. And if we set it to the temperature, device is 52 degrees Celsius and 125 for Fahrenheit. Now there will be zero amperes because the clips are not attached to any load. So it will always be zero until you attach it to a load. Now we're going to test the DC cable that's been given. All right, we're going to use the black from the outside of the metal and the red for the inside. And we'll see most likely the voltage will be above 20. Oh, there we go, 22.3 volts. Now we're gonna measure the voltage using this adapter, 2.1 mm jack to plug type C into this multimeter. And we'll see the voltage. All right, the voltage is 22.1 volts with 0 0.05 or 4 amperes because the digital tester is taking up some power as well. So it's quite accurate using the multimeter and this device to test for the voltage. Now we're going to test the solar panel to charge two different objects. First one is the Night Core UMS2. It's a battery charger and it's currently charging a AA battery. So I'm cycling through the different stages. As you can see, I'm also charging the HC35 night core headlamp and you can see that the light indicator is being turned on now so the solar panel is pretty good for outdoor users you can charge your batteries you can charge your flashlights and you can continue your adventures outside now we're going to test the samsung 10,000 milliampere power bank individually here are the specifications we're going to use the multimeter a usb multimeter to test the voltage and amperes going in so currently it's uh, inputting 4.87 volts with 0 0.48 amperes and now it's 1.21 amperes with 4.71 volts so the load is going into the power bank now and the light indicator is just one because this power bank is completely depleted we just want to see how much load it takes for the power bank individually we're going to compare the handphone now and see what's the voltage for that now we're going to compare the power being charged to the handphone. So right now it's 4.96 volts with 0 0.05 ampere. When we plug it into the phone, the phone will take up about 1.33 amperes. Right now the phone is charged until 50% only. Uh, we're going to need another 50% more to fully charge the handphone. Now it's stabilized to 1.22 amperes. Let's compare the device now with two loads, a power bank and a handphone. Now the handphone is a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. The current charge now with two loads is 4.76 volts and 1.22 amperes. As you can see, it's already increased in percentage and this is the power bank still blinking at indicator one light. So the time now is 12 p.m. We're going to wait and see how long it takes to charge the phone. The time now is 2.30pm and the weather is still hot. 
can see there's only a little bit of clouds, but it's really bright. Now the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is 4000 milliamperes, and if you can see the multimeter is no longer charging. That means that the phone is at 100%, which is really good for 2 hours and 30 minutes of charging. And our power bank is on the third indicator. Our power bank is 10,000 milliamperes. So the charging is successful. When we touch the solar controller, it's not too hot, so you can actually keep it folded and it will protect, it'll be protected from the sun. So this is the X-Dragon 70 watt solar panel. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you're interested to know more, click on the link for the unboxing video.